this video I'm gonna show you guys how I made this gaseous planning animation so let's get into the video so to begin with you'll need a .py format file which I got it from online and yeah you can make these kind of scans using you know apps like Luma.io or, or like any 3d scanning software but yeah don't worry attach these assets in the description so that you know you can try it out and play with the values so now let's create a new solid and click ok and then go to the effects panel and search for process platy now i'm just going to drag and drop it onto the solid and uh, for now i'm just going to hide this dot .ply and in the effects panel so click the model one and change the none to dot .py and so stay effects and mask so before we start customizing these values let me just go back to my original version and explain how this plugin works so right here there are like five models in this plugin so each model act as its own layer in an animation so you can think of it like stacking each layer on top and you know together combined they build like a fully animated scene this dotted layer that reveals first is the model one and this fill layer that comes second is the model two and uh, the end i've used a glow thing is the model three so as you can see i've used three models and you know obviously play with the values to get this scene so now the angle is kind of messed up so for that we're going to create a new camera and uh, hey so to get more controls it's going to go to camera right click and create orbit now p and orientation and I'm just gonna rotate this thing to point where it makes sense. So now let's just open this effects panel and go to the splat scale and enable it and um, bring down the max value to three and set the shape size to, to 400 and um, bring down this to 50, Y to 200 and Z to again 50 y-axis to something like minus 700 so let's just open the noise panel and enable it and change the amplitude to 100 let's just change the x amplitude to 1000 and we're gonna leave y as it is and change the z to around 8000 perfect open the noise settings and change the I see to 50. Scroll down and change the X scale to 350. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna animate the scale and the nice value bring up like a nice reveal effect. So now let's just keyframe this, scroll up and keyframe the X, Y, and Z value. Yeah, I'm just gonna move ahead to two seconds, change the, like the 300 to 1000 roll up just gonna ramp up this value to the point where it reveals the old C think so now if you play it it doesn't feel right like the whole animation just like reveals instantly to fix that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the middle of the two keyframes and copy the XYZ scale value and paste it and increase a little bit like this and select all press f9 to easy ease and pull up the graph editor and i'm just gonna ramp up this thing it has like a nice reveal effect also play with the values until you achieve the desired output i think this looks pretty good so now if you want to add colors to it just go to splat color and enable it and um, yeah you can change the colors and yeah obviously change the sizes too which is here so now i don't want any color so i'm just gonna close it and, um, and i'm gonna open the model 2 and um, change the none to dot .ply and so step x and max let's open the effects panel and um, go to the flat scale enable it keep running the hip size i'm gonna press zero and Move it right here and change this to 20,000. So now, if you look at here, the edge is kind of wacky. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up like a nice glow to it 
So to do that, open this flat color and enable it. And um, open this gradient, change this white to black. And I'm gonna double tap right here and change this to blue and change this white to blue as well. So this black right here acts like a transparency when you change the blending mode to add. Also make sure the keyframe of this color shape size and also the scale shape size matches exactly. So I'm just gonna bring down this value to zero and keyframe it and forward where the scale shape is and I'm just gonna copy paste this name value. If you want to sharpen the edges, just bring down this keyframe and it gives you like a really nice glow. And yeah, just repeat the same steps if you want to add glow to the next model. Also like keyframe the camera to make the scene more dynamic. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this animation. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one.